I am on the Uphold app. It looks very much the same as when you're on the Uphold website on your PC. That's very user friendly. That's one thing that I really love about Uphold. They've got low fees and, um, and they're really starting to add more and more coins. When I first got started, they definitely didn't have 50, 50 different crypto coins um, as they do now. So they're always adding in. They do allow you to exchange with other people that are Uphold wallet holders for free. You can send money back and forth between the two and they have a referral program. If you share your referral link, um, you can get some bonuses there for, for sharing their, uh, their site. So today we're going to get some XRP. Now one thing that you need to know about Uphold is not every single crypto that they offer on their site is allowed to be transferred out into another exchange or wallet. So just make sure that you know ahead of time if the currency that you're getting will be able to be transferred out. Um, a lot of it quarterly is going from like a stage three to a stage four, like a tiers. So maybe Cardano is not able to go, but next quarter it will be, which Cardano can um, as a stable coin. So, so I'm here and under markets, you can see it's highlighted on the bottom. If you don't have things that you're following already, it's not going to come up like it is here for me. So I'll just type up here, XRP, and it will just come right up. So I'm going to check that. And um, you can go for the last hour, what it's been, for the last day, what it's been, for the last week, what it's been. And you can use your finger and scroll across just like you can on the other exchange apps and see how much it was at one time. So it's a dollar fifteen in the past hour was the lowest, 95 cents and a dollar sixty four. So it's still a really good time to buy some XRP. It's always a good time to buy XRP. So just click transact. Now I already have my bank account information set, so I know that I'm gonna be sending it from my debit card. I also have my checking account linked as well, and another debit card. So, cause sometimes I just come in and I just buy $10 worth of this one and $10 worth of that one and just get little bits because you know I might not have 50 bucks or hundred bucks to throw in on a coin, but I wanna get some, especially when they're low under a dollar or a dollar. So I've got it set up there with my Capital One card already, and I'm going to put in $20. And then it will show me here that I will get 16.76 XRP. Now, if you want to know about their different pricing, you just learn more about our pricing, tap that little circle I for more information. It'll take you right to the Uphold website, and it will show you the specifics on all the coins. So down here on the bottom, you can see again, one week, one month, one year, you can check and see, and you can click the little um, arrow circle here and show one XRP is $1.19, one XRP is 80 cent, 83 cents. So on today, one XRP is equal to $1.19. It's going up, I better do this faster. One thing that I really love, uh, or another thing that I really love is what you pay on Uphold, that's what you get. It shows 20 bucks, I'm gonna get 16 XRP. I'll put in my note here. One, 118, that's just for my notes. When I go back, I like to see what did I pay for it that day. So I'm just gonna confirm. Now this may send you a notification from your bank app to your phone as a text message. It may decline. If it declines, all you need to do is call the number on the back of the phone, let your bank know that you've just tried to make a transaction and it did not go through. You don't need to tell them it's for cryptocurrency. Just let them know that you've made this charge, it's for goods, and that you want to go ahead and confirm the transaction. And from there, you'll just come back into the app and go through the process again. Your bank will say, all right, it's released. It's for our protection. A lot of the exchanges are international, so it's, you know, for our safety that they set it up for us that way. You may get an automated text. You may get something from your app. You may call in and get automation from your bank asking if this was you, or you may have to talk to a live person. So either way, you can get the transaction approved, most likely. I, not all banks will approve it. Some banks don't allow you to buy cryptocurrency. So um, just let them know that it's for goods and that you'd like to uh, open up the transaction um, to, to go through and then just come back through the process again. If you've got any questions, let me know. As always, I'm here to help.